going to discuss is human resource management objectives and function. Before seeing the objectives and function, first we will see what do we mean by this human resource management. Human resource management from a layman point of view or from a layman terminology usually it will be referred as HRM. Here we need to find the difference between HRM and HRD. HRM is none other than human resource management and HRD is human resource development. So coming to this human resource management, what is, what is HRM or what do we mean by this human resource management? Human resource management is the process of recruiting, selecting and inducting employees. They will not stop only with this but apart from that, after selecting the employee, they also will start with providing orientation and apart from orientation, they will give or they will provide training and also they will provide or they will just formulate a scientific performance appraisal in order to evaluate the employees in a very scientific manner. So this human resource management is the process of recruiting, selecting and inducting employees. Coming to the definition of this human resource management, Edwin Flapo, he just gave a very fantastic definition for human resource management. Human resource management as planning, organizing, directing, controlling of a recruitment, development, compensation, integration, maintenance and separation of human resource to the end that individual, organizational and societal objectives are achieved. I will read it once again. According to Edwin Flippo, human resource management as planning, organizing, directing, controlling of recruitment, development, compensation, integration, maintenance and separation of human resource to the end that individual, organizational and societal objectives are achieved. And also this is a very wonderful definition and a very commonly quoted definition given by the National Institute of Personal Management of India. So according to NPIM or the National Institute of Personal Management of India, it has defined human resource management as personal management as the part of management which is concerned with people at work and with your relationship within an enterprise. Its aim is to bring together and development or develop into an effective organization of the men and women who make up enterprise and having regard for the well being of the individuals and of working groups to enable them to make the best contribution to its success. Now coming to the HRM process, the human resource management process, the first very important thing is there are five commonly involved process in that. Though there is a lot of process involved in that, there are five important process involved in the human resource management. The first thing is the recruitment. So after recruiting the employee or after recruitment, the second thing is what do we call it as the selection process. And after selecting, after just observing or after selecting the suitable employee for the organization, the HRM will start giving the training, the necessary training to the employee. So first very important thing is recruitment, selection, training. The next thing is what do we call it as performance appraisal. So after giving the training, the company or the employers, they will be assessing the performance of the individual and the performance of the employees gradually in a very systematic one by using scientific technique. And after that assessment, the employees will be motivated in order to achieve or in order to increase the productivity of the company. So it starts with recruitment, selection, training, uh, appraisal or uh, just by using scientific uh, appraisal method the employee will be assessed uh, and uh, which is uh, finally followed by motivating and of course the output uh, or the most important outcome of the HR process is uh, they ultimately want to develop both the employee and also the company or the organization. So human resource management it involves uh, certain functions uh, and the important functions involved in human resource management are planning, organizing, directing and controlling. And it is a very continuous process. Any of this particular process, it will not be stopped at a moment. Once after completing one process, automatically the next process should be started. And another very important thing is, since in the organization, 
there will be batches of employees who will be recruited. So this particular HRM process, it will be dealt or it will be functional throughout the year. What can or what it could be the objectives of this human resource management? So the objectives can be broadly divided into four important categories. The first thing is what do we call it as a societal objective. So in societal objective, it's very simple. Nowadays, it is being referred by another team by using a CSR, Corporate Social Responsibility. So what is the responsibility of the organization towards the community development or towards the societal development? Because all the organizations ultimately, they will be giving a lot of importance only in the growth of their organization and their employees. But now, a very important concept that has developed and of course, which just gives importance in achieving the societal objective. The organization also will take care of the nearby community or the societal at large, usually referred as the corporate social responsibility. So the company, so the organization, they too have some sort of a social goals or social objectives towards the development of the community. The next thing is what do we call it as the organizational objective. This organizational objective is very simple. All the organization undoubtedly, they will be working in order to improve the productivity of the organization. Suppose if the organization, if it has, a, if it has two branches, ultimately within that particular financial year or they will be having a tenure, they wanted to increase the number of branches. So each and every organization undoubtedly, they will be working in order to uh, multiply or in order to increase the production or productivity level of the organization. The third thing is what do we call it as the functional objective. So in functional objective, apart from organizational objective, they also gives a lot of stress or a lot of emphasis in developing its employees. Because every organization, they will make sure some sort of uniqueness in the part of the employee. Because if they are carrying out a new project, the first very important thing is, first thing is they will develop their employee so that the employee will be able to execute the task in a very successful manner. So this functional objective, it just aims to have two important things. First thing is it develops the employee skill simultaneously or in the long run, it also will be uh, giving a, a lot of development to the so the fourth objective is what do we call it as the personal objective. So in personal objective, the employee's motivation will be taken into consideration. Of course, the employee will be working for the development of the organization. But apart from that, the employee also will have some sort of a desires towards some sort of motivation factor that plays a very vital role. So in this particular HRM objective, it also will be taken care of. Sometimes it can be increase or it can be a hike in a uh, salary. Sometimes it can be a change in the working hours uh, and also promotions uh, and some sort of welfare activities which involves their family, some sort of leave. So all these things will be taken care of. So the most important thing is uh, this particular function and objectives of this HRM will help the organization uh, to achieve its goal, uh, both organizational goal and also the personal goals related to the employee.